Oni's brother has responded to Oluri Tobi over wanting to meet with, with Pastor Jerry Eze. And according to him, Tobi should stop behaving like everything is okay when she knows very well that it is not okay. Because from all the indications, from every single thing that has happened over time, Oluri Tobi have crossed the line. She has categorically done things that are not meant to be done. She has done things that that should not be done but yet why toby keeps doing it because she feels in one way or the other she's the only wife so she has a leverage to do a lot of things that she is currently doing so right now now my people as we speak right now olivia toby have sent a request across to pastor jerry easy and according to her she would wish to meet with him and based on this meeting that olivia toby wants to meet with pastor jerry easy we all know that before now just some days ago olivia toby dragged this man on the internet she had him become a topic on blogs and everywhere that he is the father of Prince Tadeni Kawo. Now, why would people find it difficult to believe or why would people pick this news and then they will become running with it? It's because Oluri, Naomi and Pastor Jerry Eze have come a very long way. If you speak about Naomi's spiritual growth, there is no way you will not mention Pastor Jerry Eze. If you speak about Naomi's wealth for her well-being, there is no way you would not mention Pastor Jerry Eze. So from every single thing, from every single thing that has happened over time, you would come to that point of realization that this woman is being so unfair, calling Pastor Jerry Eze out that eh, he is Tedenikawa's father and all of those things. And then from all that we have known, from all that we have followed, and from all that we have seen in recent times, she is doing all of these things and behaving like nothing is happening. And that is all the honest brother is telling her. Yes, you cannot do all of these things and then wake up one morning and feel like, yeah, nothing happened yesterday, it's nothing, so let's move on to the next phase. It's more like you're telling people that, next please, it's nothing, now let's move on. That is it for her. So right now, no, my people... Um, on his brother's concern is, is that whatsoever is meant trashing now should be trashed up before we move on to the next one. Because Olivia Toby cannot just wake up one morning and say that hey, whatsoever happened yesterday is nothing. Let's move on to another thing. And right now, and according to the owner's brother, whom has not spoken about this matter for a very long time until recent, the man saw that whatsoever these women are doing is beginning to be hilarious. And if you know him very well, he speaks only when it comes to Olivia and Naomi. So now, why he is speaking is that Toby have dragged the people who are there to Naomi. Yes, Toby coming out to see that she has proof, she has she, like every single thing she was seeing was just aligning because she took out time to study, to you know, follow up on every single thing that was happening. Then in the midst of her follow up, she decided to add more lies to it because what Toby said there was no iota of truth in it but yet there was truth why was there no truth but there was truth because as of when toby said that pastor jerry is a was in abuja in april 2024 to attend advance at the transforming church in abuja it is true he was actually in abuja to attend the transforming church and if you to, to attend a concert which is called advance at the transforming church in abuja and if you check the videos if you check the videos that were done I think on the second day of the tra of the advance, you will see Pastor Jerry is it there. He came, and then he came on the last day of the program too. So now, from all that we, she she began saying, she began listening, she began bringing out. It is actually there were there were actually connections in one way or the other. But is it worth pinning it on the man of God? Is it what beginning to tell the world that and the man of God is having involvement with Olui Naomi? Knowing fully well that Olui Naomi is also a woman, a dedicated woman of God. So there was nothing more that, you know, um, this person could even say to him. There was nothing more that um, Pastor Apostle Selman could even sell to her. Yes. To a point that Selman said, if Toby does not know that scripture that says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm, then Toby should go and read her Bible. That was what Selman said, because all of these things are a very big fat lie. Yes, and right now the owner's brother is coming out to say almost the same thing. And on the owner's brother's perspective, 
perspective what he is saying is that if these women are not taught a lesson then they would not learn on time that if they are not taught a lesson then they will continue doing all of these things and they will feel these things are right yeah so he now is telling the owner that see for another man of God to be dragged again, then you better tell Toby where she belongs. And for Toby to be told where she belongs, it has to be a very, very long and a tedious procedure. Because Olori Toby has come a long way in this whole palace matter. And Toby comes to that point of thinking that whatsoever she's doing is right. Yes, that's the point to which Toby has come. She has come to that point to feel that whatsoever she, Toby, is doing is right. And when people get to that point, you know, get it where you go tell them where it go seem wrong in their sight because now she feels that eh, whatsoever, in, no, no matter who I drag, it is right, it is my right, or it is how it is meant to be. Not knowing that what you are doing is wrong and it is not meant to be so. So right now, only brother is trying to tell um, the only and pastor jerry is at large that you know that very statement pastor jerry is a mate that we did not become christians to be bullied he said he loves the statement so much because nobody became a christian to say for you to react to something and they will say hey this one that says he's a christian this one that calls himself this no 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 no. we did not become christian so that you will tremble on us we did not become christian so that you will look down on us we became christian so that what we will serve our maker not for you to use it against us so pastor jerry is a should actually be wise in whatsoever he is doing he should not carry that full armor of God upon himself and then let let foolishness prevail. Because right now, that is what Toby is doing. Yes, seeking a meeting with him at the same time, in at the same time after she has dragged him. You know that Pastor Jerry has responded. He said that you cannot right all your wrongs in a day. That's to prove to Olori Toby that what there is a lot for Toby to write before this moment. There is so much for her to 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 put together before even coming to seek for this meeting. So we shall pray that Toby sees exactly what she's supposed to see. Because as it is right now, Toby has ignored every single wrong she herself has done. Toby has made things look like and the people who are getting involved in this matter are the ones doing the wrong thing and all of those things. Because you know now at some point she came out to blame the only she came out to blame everybody consigned on this matter and as the whole matter take be my people you know now the only has a final say but these women are exuding characters that are not good we don't know how far this thing will go we don't know to what extent this thing will reach but as long as this matter continues although with toby and whosoever is consigned ought to know that there is a limit to every single thing that is happening in the palace and there is a point to which they have to stop yes they have to stop